and it's so good to see the NA scene maybe, maybe sparking back to life just like this. Great stuff. If you are just joining us, uh, Liquid versus Conquest, map number one was trained. Scoreline 16 and 11, but it's not the scoreline you might think. Conquest actually took Train. Train was their yeah. own map choice. Now we're going on to Cobble. Looks like Pistol Round is underway. Cobble chosen by Liquid, but it's actually a good map for both teams. Yeah, both teams should be pretty good at this map. Uh, Liquid, we know, is pretty good on here. I've seen uh, Conquest once or twice. But uh, <clears throat> again, this is just, it's all on the shoulders of Liquid here. It's their game to lose, just outright. I mean, they've already dropped one map to Conquest. And I mean, Conquest, once they got on CT side, that was pretty devastating how well they played from CT. Yeah, exactly. This is different. Uh, you're starting out with an A hit for Conquest. Cobble with an A hit, it's unheard of. Uh, shots are fired and uh, looks like Team Liquid is coming out on top. Dropping guns down to Shazam and Rush. Uh, Rush is able to take position at uh, the bomb site and uh, does plant it, so at least you've got that. And then Shazam holding from fence. Backs off, setting up the crossfire. They're heavily outnumbered. That's going to help. Hiko down two, highest impact player in wow. Elyse. What's happening? Nitro peeks the corner, finally is able to take Shazam down. Plenty of time on the clock for the defuse, and wow. That could have been very, very bad if you were... Uh... If you were Nitro, you weren't able to hit that shot onto Shazam right there. Shazam could have got himself the 3K. The, the, what was that? Ended up being like 1v2 clutch. What is that? Because the third player. Yeah, it would have been 1v2 yeah, clutch. Yeah. And man, like that, that could have been so bad uh, for Liquid to drop that after they did so much work. And I mean, only two players or uh, only two players made that happen right at the end with Shazam. And that was ridiculous. So the Liquid will take the pistol. They'll be up 1-0. to zero. We have a pause coming out. And it looks like we have a resolution glitch that we need to have fixed. And uh, we should have uh, We're good to go now. Yeah, we're going to re ready now. Get this thing back live in round two Conquest versus Team Liquid. Yeah, so just a short technical timeout uh, coming in from Liquid. That, uh, that's critical, I think, for Liquid to gain just a little bit of steam going forward and say, you know, all right, we got a pistol round. We can do this. We can move on forward. But it really bespeaks how well Conquest plays. They dropped them all the way down to one player and just almost, almost took the pistols out of themselves. Still, yeah. Exactly. So they've got to be relatively happy with themselves. Keep the confidence up. You see Fugly playing that drop down as players start to cluster up by B side. I mean, if, if you haven't played Cobble in a long time, you haven't watched Counter-Strike in a long time, this is the meta. It's almost always going to be a B hit. And if it's not, it's going to be a delayed A, then B. Here they come. They flash out, drop through, drop down. Nitro waiting. Unloads with a P90. And yeah, that's what happens when you have unarmored opponents and yeah. SMGs. Just tonight. melted. But, I mean, Liquid right there, that's going to be 2-0 to zero in favor of Liquid. They only lose one player. Uh, and, and, I mean, he had a good spray down. He got two frags out of the round, so he got money out of it. So it's not going to hurt him that bad to rebuy. But still, uh, you need to win clean rounds like that. Yep. Only drop a single player. They did that. Let's see if they can uh, they can get another clean round here as Conquest will be on to a buy, though. Yeah. Thanks to that bomb plant. Yeah. You said it. Buying around the bomb plant, that gives us a slight gun advantage in favor of Conquest. This is exactly what Liquid tried to do to Conquest in the last map. Shots being uh, exchanged up at long. It's going to be Shazam. If he pushes the issue, it would be a 2v1. He gets one kill, walks around the corner, gets the second kill, completely opening up a side at long. Meanwhile, the mid push was very real, and the bomb does go down. They're going to have to deal with three players coming in from uh, doors. Doors are smoked off. They back off, and... Liquid makes the executive decision. We're going to yeah, back off save. and hang on to the guns. Yeah, so it would have been a three-man retake attempt coming out for Team Liquid, but they don't even go for it. Conquest will get themselves the early buy win uh, thanks to that uh, the AK armor that they collected right there. So that is going to make the score 2-1 to one in favor of Team Liquid. But Conquest on their heels again. And this might, this might turn out bad. This could be another situation where all of a sudden Conquest keeps up with them and then just steals the lead away. Yeah. Yeah, this this is this is nuts. Okay, so you got two rounds right there, and then Conquest suddenly turning it around on that surprise third round buy. They had the gun advantage though going into it. That's the real advantage. If you if you happen to get the money for the bomb plants and manage your economy effectively, you can undo the mistakes of losing a pistol round just like that. Liquid tried to do it last time, and Conquest succeeds right here on Cobble. Keep in mind, this is Cobble. Yeah, all right. Liquid chose to play on this map. 
However, they both are extremely good on Cobblins. The most played map, the second most, most played map for both Liquid and Conquest. That's, wow. That's, if Conquest can keep this going in their favor, turn this into another upset here. I mean, just the fact they took one map, that was that, that's an upset in itself. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, if you could take two maps away from Liquid and their run here at the SIBO MLG Season 8 Land Finals, that would be... That would be momentous on day two, removing them from the tournament. We've already had teams drop, and I mean, we're going to have another team drop right now on main stage. Well, speaking of dropping, Stanislaw is already out of the picture. You see Rush working on doing entry at B main. Looking around, doesn't realize there's a player over there at that sneaky spot left side of B platform. They set up for smokes, but then CT side. Liquid's going to smoke him off, delaying the strat. 39 seconds remain. This hurts because now this is going to force Conquest into one of those last-minute mad dashes into the site. Well, it will be that four on five, and yeah, Conquest's going to have to try and do it with low, low time here. We got Fugly right there with that P90. He's going to try and play the edge of that smoke. He gets spotted out, still able to find the shot. He gets two, actually, with it. Liquid. Not trying to drop a second round. They want to make this three to one. It looks like they're going to do it. Nafly low on HP will step up into the drop room through window. Ends up getting killed there by uh, Bugly at the end of that. That's three to one will be the score. And Liquid not going to try and let Conquest get two in a row. Well, there you go. That's disheartening for Conquest, but there is a silver lining in that loss. They have just enough cash to buy up full one more time. AKs, smoke grenades, everything you need to do. A nice and proper execute. And you know what, Conquest, they, they favored the A side earlier around. You see a little bit of a bias towards it with three people standing outside. But I think this is actually just gonna be the way Conquest chooses to play a T side default. Look at Stana's Law creeping forward, trying to do some entries found, I think through the smoke by Elise. Yeah, Elise yeah. standing at tree. So they do have the initial pick. Stan's going to be down out of the way. Uh, Team Liquid going to have that one man advantage, just trying to hold on to it here. They don't want to drop any more rounds. If they can hold Conquest down uh, underneath them on from T side, that would be yeah. that would be awesome for Liquid because T side, you should be able to get some uh, decent numbers on this map. Should be able to, uh, but it's all on the back of Conquest here. How well they can play it. At this point, Conquest is committing to an A hit. 45 seconds on the clock. Not too much time to go ahead and rotate out of there. Nap comes up from mid. Up the ramp. He goes super close by fence. Sees the bullet Ooh. spraying out. He gets just outnumbered and outgunned. He's down. So now we're in a 4v4 with Nitro. Hanging back by SWAT. Van unloads. Beautiful counter flash, but he's still going to get taken down. Elige can't do anything uh, stepping out on the rotate, leaving Fugly all alone. Super predictable position when you jump out of balcony. No choices left at that point, and he gets taken down. Beautiful turnaround by Conquest. Yeah, Conquest is doing everything right uh, that they need to be doing just so they can keep themselves in this. They need to keep it close yeah, so they yeah. can steal away. I mean, if they don't keep it close, maybe just take the lead. Whatever, whatever you have to do, they need to keep it close, though. They need to take that lead. Uh, if they can really, really stunt Team Liquid right now and, and just shut them down and collect a grip around from T-Side, that would be gigantic. Well, the finances for Liquid aren't broken just yet. It's going to be a full-on B-Rush. Beautiful counter flash, but Nitro also blind forces him to back off and he's going to get killed. The spray fails for Fugly, not being able to find any kills. Smokes go down, bomb goes down, and uh, Nafi is going to be able to get the uh, get the plant. Nice post plant positions, and uh, Dren's going to be left all alone. All he's got is a CZ-75 in hand. A whole lot of utility. That's an expensive investment for a Dren. He also has armor, so it'd be great if he could just save this. Ooh. Unload, just misses the spray, and Shazam takes him down. I mean, a lot of the Conquest players right there were, were pretty, well, not a lot of them. All of them were pretty lit right there. I mean, I think yeah. the high, highest HP I saw was Daps with maybe like 60. Uh, but either way, I mean, they weren't they weren't dialed in like that. That easily could have been quite a bit of frags right. if he was able to wrangle that thing in. But couldn't pull it back down. That's going to tie it up. 3-3. Three to three. Conquest coming back into this thing. They tie it up here against Team Liquid. And your, uh, your heavy favorite for this matchup is not looking like uh, first half's going their way. Conquest already won the first map, so uh, if Liquid lose right here, they are out of the tournament, out of the group stage at this point, and Conquest get to move on. No, I'm sorry. 
they, they have to play one more matchup and then Conquest move on. Yeah, because this is an elimination. Both of these teams have already taken a loss. So it's going to be up to whoever can win this one to stay alive in the tournament. Loser, this is out of it for the weekend. And they have to, uh, they have to come back next season to hope that they can uh, they make it back to the land finals one more time. And we have Conquest trying to take their way to the AL. Like, they're going to be painting extremely hard. That's Fugly and Alige. Oh, man. But it doesn't work out for him. The bait for the player in the chicken coop didn't work. Yeah. It's an eco round for Liquid. They like to take a couple more kills for sure. Stanislaw is out of the picture, and you see Nitro with the USP just baiting. Honestly, doesn't matter if he lives or dies at this point. He's going to hold his position. Conquest. I don't see exactly what their finances are looking like right now, but they did buy it extremely heavily into this round, spending about 20.2 thousand or, or 20.2. And. Uh, they're just not going to force the issue. They know exactly where Nitro is. They're just going to watch the bomb, try to bait him in here. Nitro sensing an opportunity and knowing it doesn't matter financially if he lives or dies. Charges on in, trying to get that last minute plant uh, or a bomb defuse, and it's just not meant to be. Yeah, no luck on that, but we will have Conquest up by one round over Team Liquid. And uh, if they could keep this rolling, we actually, there it is. There's the buys coming out. I was going to think uh, for a second there, they weren't full buying yet. And I was like, well, I mean, it's tight. They're not the healthiest buys in the world. They don't have a lot of utility. Are they really just going to save this one pistol armor? But oh, there it is. They buy the M4s. They buy the head armor and they buy a little bit of utility, some flashbangs and some smoke grenades for them to try and work with here. And uh, already one of the liquid members is down. But look at the answer coming out from Nitro Adren. Is there too, but it's all up to Hiko now versus Nafly. We're gonna have a one-on-one. -on -one. Hiko full HP, Nafly down low, and uh, this could be uh, this could be interesting if Nafly is able to hit this shot. Well, he is a solid, solid high impact player. Look at how he's playing. You see, you see the thought process right there. Smoke this one off, Molly that one. Watch for a push from B main. Look at the plat, and he's just checking off every single corner. He's got 55 seconds, lots of time. And Naf still doesn't know where he's at. Still doesn't even know where he's at. He's trying to find him, but Hiko playing nice and slow. No reason to get aggressive yet. Hiko can just hang out and just wait for Nafly to make his move. I mean, there's a ton of time left, and there it is. Hiko gets spotted now. Nafly doesn't really want to try and take that fight head on. He's got to be careful. He could just get ripped apart by Eric Bullets. Well, Naf's going to go ahead and plant the bomb. Still a little bit of time left on the clock and with these shots coming as he knows exactly man. where Hiko is unloads gets the headshot take a seat Hiko yeah that's would you wow Nafly hit that that oh, was beautiful that Nafly was able to make that happen and that will extend that conquest lead just a little bit further get them uh even farther away from liquid i mean you got five rounds from t-side that's looking good maybe make that seven or eight and they are they are in the clear here on uh, map number two such a critical play for naf fun fact naf fly changed his name from naf to naf fly in uh, in respect of a former teammate brundle fly he's actually killed in a, a hit and run accident former source player we're into round nine all these frags going in favor of Conquest. Only one CT left alive. That was Nitro. He ends up going down to rush. And uh, Shazam will close it out at the end. That's going to be 6-3. to three. Liquid is down by three in total. And Conquest running with this momentum. And uh, again, just like they did on last map when they, well, they were CT side instead of T side. But man, when they had the momentum, they did not let it go. And they just continued to run with it and get a grip of rounds. Conquest, solid play. These boys are playing their hearts out tonight. 6-3. Adren gets extremely aggressive, pushing all the way out towards Long, and then he's going to back off. Stanislaw has to deal with Hiko. Hiko chucks a grenade before he backs off. Does a lot of damage, dropping a rush down about 64. Nice counter flash yeah. as well, but Hiko's not going to commit to the shooting. He's just playing the delay game. Yeah, just going to hang out and wait. No reason to get too overly aggressive here. Put yourself in a situation where you're not going to get any frags out of it and end up getting hurt. Uh, so Hiko wisely backs up. Conquest just kind of spread out across the map. Uh, majority of them clustered up towards the mid 
uh, part of the map as Nat flies out on his lonesome over there at the B bomb site, looking to see if he can get anybody being too aggressive and try and work off that. Well, the bomb works its way towards B site. Fugly's watching drop down super closely. Looks like most of the players are going to group up just outside of B main. Elige at tree boosted up, watching the corner. Daps is actually going to have to deal with Nitro and Fugly, two players. Now's your moment of opportunity. Drops wow. down, takes one. Nitro is blind, backs off. Nap's already out. Wow. He's able to do the old one-two. Wow, he, he made it work. He was able to get down through the drop, and that is absolutely dirty. So that's going to force Hiko and the Dren into committing to the save here. They're going to have to back their way up, and that'll be a seventh round now for Conquest. Better back that gun up. That's the way the song went, right? Oh, man. <laughs> Juvenile. It is juvenile. But hey, it's fun. Well, back back in the day, Fugly used to play with Juvenile. Did he really? Yeah. Counter Strike? Yes. No kidding. Not the real Juvenile, but oh, his name was uh, Juvenile. Alright. Source? No, it, it was Go. I back in the day I should say like seven months ago. Oh, seven months six ago. Of, six months ago. I guess that's not really back in the day. That wasn't yeah, that's not back in the day. I'm yeah. thinking like back in the day means like, you know, one point four. <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, this was like back seven in months my ago. day. Hey, sounds like the uh, the War All's grandfather just popped into the, into right. this cast. Seven and three score line straight out of the gate, and uh, look at this. After that round, Liquid's economy is broke once yep. again. Nothing but pistols, and th this is one heck of a T side. One more round, and uh, Conquest are going to have the majority of points on on first half again. So into round eleven. As uh, Sabo was just talking about, we are pistols out for Team Liquid. Just trying to hold on, trying to do whatever they can to, to try and get some rounds here to stop the momentum of Conquest. And I, I mean, man, I, I knew Conquest was going to do good in this. I didn't think they were going to be this huge on momentum. And, man, after what they did last night against uh, Virtus Pro, even though they lost it, they came back here tonight and they took a map off Liquid. They're looking poised to try and take home... Uh, first half of map number two against Liquid, and, and Conquest has been on point. Well, you see the uh, players going towards drop. I think we missed that on uh, on cams, but uh, Stanislaw is doing the work, dropping a Dren real quick. Elyse also finishes Daps with the pistol. Man advantage, well, suddenly turns into an even three versus three. Elyse picks up an AK-47, trying to do something with it as Nafi crosses by uh, SWAT van. Taking the shot at Balcony and reducing us to Nitro all alone. Problem is Nitro is that B anchor player and he's just not in a position to do anything. He's going to drop down pumping those uh, brand new knives. Those plugs, whatever you want to call them. Almost at the 5 7 frag out in the middle. Yeah. But couldn't hold it down, couldn't get it. And that is going to be another round in favor here for Team Conquest. And uh, they are looking, they're looking really good right now. I mean, yeah. that's eight rounds for them, only three rounds for Liquid. Uh, man, we're into round 12. Anything after this, it's just, it's it's amazing for Conquest. This is this is a lot of rounds to get from T-Side. It's been a long journey for Conquest. Players coming from two broken teams, falling apart, having no sponsor. Yeah. Number three in Sivo against all odds, and now here they are at the MLG Arena, live from Columbus, Ohio. Taking on Liquid, they've already taken the first map. Train, we're on Liquid's map choice of Cobble. Such a strange choice, though. I mean, it it does play Liquid strengths, uh, yeah, but... But it, it's not working out right now at all. It also plays the Conquest strengths. Yeah. There's, there's no anti-picking going on here. And that's concerning, clearly, as the scoreline indicates. So, Ops up. Both teams have them. Adren's got his out. We got Shazam with his out for their respective teams. Uh, we haven't had the duel yet. Let's see if we're going to be able to make that happen. And there's Shazam taking down Elyse, playing out behind the box up there on balcony. A little too aggressive. Got wide peaked by Shazam, and Shazam's able to open up that view bomb site. But there's still so many CT. There's such a CT presence there still already. I mean, three players already there. One ends up going down. Now there's only one left. After the trades right there, Stanislaw gets in there, and there it is. Hiko goes down. Stanislaw shooting very well. Gets himself to that round. That makes it 9-3. to three. That round happens so incredibly fast. I mean, they just walked right into the bomb site. Heavy, heavy rush. 
And by the time I look up, he goes the last man standing. And, yeah. and the problem is, he's just in absolutely no position to, to, to mount any sort of a fight. And he gets picked off just like that. Hyper fast gun round. And uh, Liquid, they've, they've got so little cash. They're buying up around this. And uh, Dren... After all those uh, AWP buys, he, he's only forced to he's forced to go ahead and pick up a uh, Tomas. Not much to mount a real fight. Conquest not going to focus on B just yet. They're going to run some sort of a default. Hiko's always going to be your A anchor player in this situation. That's kind of like his his world. He's B anchor constantly on Inferno. He's B anchor constantly on um, on Cash as well. And he likes to play this solo role. The problem is he can get outnumbered very quickly and. There it is, the mind of Hiko at work. He sees it coming, drops the smoke, falls back. Doesn't want to take that fight. Yeah, he's going to go put himself in a better position so he can hide back in the back of the bomb side and uh, get some good angles. No, actually, he's going to force back up a little bit. He's going to just hide behind that wall and just hope for the best. And uh, by the way, extremely spammable. So he, he's got to be careful. He gets spotted that he's probably going to just get distracted. Now the bomb is working its way in towards A and finally, the man goes down, that's Hiko, and this is going to force a retake position. Uh, T's get very aggressive pushing out through the doors, and uh, that's going to be a 1-2 trade. With Stanislaw finally going down as a result of the push. The bomb gets planted. Liquid is in absolutely no position to, uh, to mount any sort, of a, any sort of a retake. Nitro and Liege back off all the way towards T spawn. You see the hit squad is searching they've taken some very forward positions that's about as far forward as you can really risk without uh leaving the bomb undefended in just a few seconds i expect that conquest is going to push out even farther yeah daft's going to be the first man to the scene can he get a couple guns out of their hands nope found out by nitro yeah not able to grab anything out of that nitro will grab daft's it's going to be 10 rounds now for Conquest, and this is getting out of hand very, very fast from T-Side. Conquest with 10 rounds. Uh, we're into round 14. They have a chance here. They could end this 12-3, this half. Oh, that, yeah. That would, be, that would be absolutely rough if you're Liquid, and at what point does Liquid finally just... We, all right, we need a tech boss. We need, to, we need to stop. We need to talk. We need to figure out what's going wrong here. Uh, we need to get our heads back on. They haven't done it yet. Not just yet. Elise getting boosted up on top of the tree. He's able to go ahead and take one, but Rush is right there making the trade, making it happen, and then Stanislaw with the 2K just like that. B site wide open. Adren's first one on the rotation works his way towards the door before he gets smoked out. He wants to push through the smoke, does so, uses a little crack on the right side, and uh, catches one player. That's Shazam by surprise. Does a lot of damage, not quite enough to get the job done. Shazam's at 23 health, and suddenly Adren's realizing. Uh-oh, I'm all alone. Yeah, he's in a tough spot here. He's 1v3 bomb. He's going to be planted, so he's got a timer on him now. And uh, and he just, he has to come up big here. He doesn't really have a choice. I mean, you can go save the M4 uh, for the final round, but at the same time, it's just, you need to get some rounds for your team. He hits one shot, takes down Shazam, but he's got himself pinched here. He's got one to his right, one to his left. Takes down the right, but the left-hand player, that's going to be Stan as long, coming from the left side, not left hand. Uh, Ends up catching him, so they peak at the same time. They get that victory, and that's 11 to 3 as we hit the final round of first half. Conquest, man, they're, they could finish the 16 3 pretty quickly. They could. This is such a critical match. Liquids has lost the first map of train. This is Cobble. Conquest take it, they move on. Everything's important. It's elimination. The losing team is packing up and going home at this point. A lot is on the line. The title of MLG Pro Champion is on the line, and a total of $100,000 of prize money is also on line. 40K going to the winners. So now we're into that final round of this half. Team Liquid with only three rounds to their name. Conquest with 11. Just trying to hold on to this thing. If they can make this a 12-3 uh, half, that would be very, very... Uh, very disheartening going into the second half if your team liquid. Like, uh, I, I don't know how you would come back from that, how you would shake that. And Stainless already opens it up, able to take down Fugly. And, and Conquest is just shooting so well. Liquid has no answer at all. See Daps standing right out in the open, taking the fight to Adren, but Adren's going to get the better of him with the FAMAS, and Daps goes down. Stanislaw also severely hurt. 
If we look at the positioning, Conquest still going to be able to go ahead and work their way into the A site. The bomb does go down, and look at the positioning at long. We have one T player hanging back. He must be playing for sound here in some noise. That's Shazam. He knows. Got to be careful, though. Why? Oh, yeah. that's why. <laughs> Ends up running into the halls, ends up going down. So now we're going to have a two on four here, four man retake attempt. And uh, it's going to be two coming up through the connector. One's going to be coming up the ramp. And one's going to be coming from uh, A halls. And Rush getting pushed. He takes down two. Both players out of connector. He'll take down. He's got 50, or excuse me, 92 HP. And uh, man, he's got a lot of time to work with here. Yes. Got a Molotov. Going to drop it down. Now he has to worry about over the top, trying to find the player. He will find the player. And Rush comes up huge yeah, at they're the happy. end. They are unbelievably happy with Rush there. Good job on him. That's 12 to 3 at the half yeah. in favor of Conquest. That's, man, that that's that's rough if you're liquid. This is nuts. Shazam had a real big smile on his face right there at the end of the uh, right there at the end of the first half, and yeah. Liquid really struggling. You see them dead silent, fugly, not happy with this round, with this map so far they've got to turn this thing around i mean yeah. the score line is getting completely out of control for liquid and uh wow yeah <laughs> if you're if you're liquid right now you you need to take this time you need to break you need to talk you need to figure out what we need to have happen uh to get you guys back into this thing you you got to figure that out and you got to do it now so uh but here taking a peek at the box score look at the numbers nafly playing great daps not really a, a factor at all in there. No, that's that's surprising. I mean, he's he is the IGL for the team. At least I think he still is. There's some question as to whether or not Stanislaw might be taking over some of that role. And Stanislaw was operating as IGL uh, as well as a high impact fragger for yeah. his former team of Team Coast uh, as he integrates back into Conquest. He's not he's not showing up as the super. An eight scoreline. Nath is emerging as the as the clear star, clear MVP of the matchup. Yeah. But I mean, Stanislaw. That's the beauty of Stanislaw, though. If he needs to make these high impact frags and carry the team, he can. Yeah. But if he needs to play back, play more of a support role, and and provide the calls, provide the communication and information, then he's down with that too. So we're gonna start this pistol off in conquest. Already getting to. Uh, Frags. That's going to be a Liege who finally does trade one. So Conquest here from the CT side. They've already worked this down. Oh, Fugly, what a good job with that shot. Able to get Shazam. And man, Stanislaw just gets his face ripped right there. But here comes Nafly on the rotate from behind. Only a one on one now. Adren looking to find Nafly. He'll get the wow. shot on Nafly. And man, Liquid not out of it yet. And what a good play. Adren <laughs> made that happen at the end. Gets the one versus two clutch. And, uh, Keeps Team Liquid alive, at least for another round. Yeah, that's two pistol rounds in a row for Liquid, but it they got the one pistol round, they, they got the second, and then they went full tilt mode from that yeah. point on uh, on their first half. The goal right here is for Liquid just to hang out of the momentum. They buy up extremely heavily. They don't want to have any sort of a gun disadvantage. Conquest also choosing to buy up pretty aggressively, too. It's CZ-75, you see Scout and uh, Nass working with a shotgun defensively. Two guesses where he is. Yep, he gets naded right away in that close shotgun position. And uh, Liquid not going to rush anything. They got lots of time. Yeah, that position's great, but it's a risk that you have to, you, you take that risk that somebody's just going to drop grenades down there expecting you to be doing something dirty. And uh, he got caught out for it. But uh, Liquid here on, uh, on their buy. Man, they have dropped all the way down to two players. Stan's trying to get another shot off with his Deagle. If he can get another frag, that would be huge. Can't quite do it. That'll be a fifth round for Liquid now. Amazing. For a while there, I thought Stanislaw was going to clutch this thing out, pulling out the Deagle plays, making the kills, but um, just too little, too little too late at that point. He needed another teammate alive. Maybe if the nades uh, didn't serendipitously land on top of Naf's head and uh, take him out at drop down, that does weaken your B side so much. If, if you don't have yeah, to get drop down, it's like instantly yeah. they can have B or they can just do a massive split on A site. Super, yeah. super dangerous. So now into round 18, score will be 12 to 5 in favor of uh, Conquest. But uh, I mean, Liquid trying to battle into this, and it's, it's like the same story every time. Liquid, pretty strong at first. 
and they start to struggle. Momentum shifts to Conquest, and Conquest just dominates their way through it. It's just about how soon will that happen in this half of, uh, of map number two. This is weird play by Conquest. They were they were set up with a very standard defense, and then as soon as the B hit started to happen, all five players just got the heck out of the B side. Like, you know, I don't want to deal with it. And now they're setting up just trying to get as many exit frags as possible. Looks like this was their, their, their tactic all along. Get out of the site wherever they go and simply play to bait these players out. Look at the crossfires being set up. They're just hoping somebody comes outdoors, doing something, pick up the kills. And we might have we, we might have a round go go by with not a single kill. Yeah, it, it looks like it's gonna go. Nope, that stand is a lot does go down at the end. Nitro was able to find him. That is the sixth round now for Team Liquid. Weird. As, uh, Conquest lead <laughs> is down to six rounds, but still, I mean, they have a lot to work with here from CT side. And like we talked about, I mean, once the momentum shifts to them, oh yeah, they don't let it go. No, they don't. But this is the opportunity for Conquest at this point. They've got uh, they've got the first buy on CT side, and you can you can play such an effective CT side. No surprises right here with bomb works. Let's wait towards B side. Daps is playing over here at uh, the the spot made famous by JDM's P90, and uh, he's not going to get any kills, but at least does go down thanks to Nap. Lots of smoke in the site. Very disorienting if you're a CT while Liquid slowly tries to work out. That's what flash grenades are for, delay them, blind them, so they can't they can't quite commit to what uh, what plays they want. Look at this. Yep, bomb spotted. Trades are gonna be going out in favor of Nitro. Fugly right there with it too. Still trying to force, but Stan is only gonna be the last man standing. He's gonna be one versus three. They're gonna get the bomb planted. Stan's gonna almost get the shot on the Fugly. Wasn't quite enough though. Trying to get in there. That'll be a seventh round down for Team Liquid as a conquest. Their lead is slipping ever so slightly. I mean, there's up to ten rounds left that we could be playing here between these two teams. And uh, Conquest wants to shut that down as fast as they can. Yeah, they can't allow that. It's four rounds in a row. Yeah, I mean they're they're almost up to max loss bonus now. So. Yeah. The advantage of that, of course, is they're going to have a whole lot of money going forward. Light buy, pistols, couple of grenades. I don't expect too much to come out of Conquest uh, this round. They had really solid crossfires set up to just do an extremely tight defense on B platform last round. And they, they open it up with the kills, too. But Liquid. Make it happen. Rush is going to be picked off first. Nitro spotting players out by door. And uh, the way Conquest is playing, they're all kind of ducked around in these one-off spots, just trying to get these, these cheap free kills off of Liquid. They know they shouldn't win the round, but at least get a kill. Pick up a gun, run away with it. That's the victory this round for Conquest. Napply right there gets one with the pistol. Uh, he's already lost Rush, though, so... Daps is going to be in there, and uh, ooh, Naflite barely survives that. Stan is lost, still trying to fight it out. Big gun battle ensues here at this bomb site. They're going to be on the eco nonetheless, and man, they worked it all the way down to a two-on-two, -two, now a one-on-two in favor of Team Liquid, but they know exactly where Shazam's at with his pistol in hand. This could be, this could be tough for him, and is that a Zeus? Yes, it is. Yep. The Zeus, even with the even with the change of the finances here, the Zeus are still coming out. And hey, you know it is a completely viable weapon if you're going for some of these crazy little derp spot um, uh, uh, one-off cheap kills. You can just hide around the corner and go pow, and you get yeah. that squawking chicken sound and, and the satisfaction of the Zeus kill. It's great stuff. Just not able to come out that round for Shazam. That's fine. It was really a throwaway round for Conquest anyway so that they can try to get some damage done, try to hold them off. And, and, and indeed, they did intimidate Liquid. Liquid's not just charging in there saying, we're Liquid, we're so good, we can just pounce in. They realize Conquest is a real threat, even oh, with yeah. pistols. So they played it extremely slow. That, that means Liquid clearly has respect for this team. And that was the time to unleash the boost. Shazam goes for the boost to drop, able to take down Fugly. It gives them that man advantage right off the bat until Nitro steps out and does that. Finds another frag on Daps, actually, as Daps was uh, behind the smoke wall there. And uh, he's completely lit up, though, and they're dropping like flies now. Rush is able to grab two. Stanislaw 
Gonna push his way out through A. Not gonna find anybody, so he's gonna rotate back towards B. And Bomb gonna be down out in the open. Kind of tough spot for uh, Liquid to get it. Rush just has to be here for his teammate when they make the call. He should be able to hang out and wait for this Bomb plant. Yeah, Rush did a reload. I'm not sure if Hiko was able to hear that. I'm guessing that's a no. He goes ahead and plants the bomb, and one player jumps up on top of tree. And there you go. Nap, Rush, doing the one-two duo. Taking the kills. He goes down. No one left alive. Rush with the defuse. Only seven health, but he had two more teammates to carry him. That's another round on the board in favor of Conquest. And this is looking like it just might shape up to be a massive upset. Conquest is yeah. three points away, three rounds away from 16, winning not just Cobble, but uh, knocking Liquid out. Uh, of the I mean, championship. Yeah, and at this point here in groups. Yeah, we they could break their economy this next round. Yeah. They they could they could hurt them really, really bad economically if they can win this one in a row. because uh, as you saw their liquid was pretty heavily bought into that round in conquest. Uh, they're good money wise. So if they end up winning this thing, that would be huge. But that is going to be a dren. Trying to put his stamp on this round and not let himself just get smashed out by Conquest. Able to take down Stanislaw on that lurk. Oh, wow. The grenades, the mollies, and the shots are going to take Elise right out at back B flat. The bomb still wants to work its way towards B, where three members of Conquest are all stacked up. Stanislaw is already out of the picture, and it looks like Drop is, is not being... Oh, yeah, it is being watched uh, at a passive angle. No problem right there. Nitro, take a position at B and Liquid. 45 seconds on the clock. Again, not going to rush this. Chill out. <sighs> well, so hard. Yeah, they got that four on four right now. Conquest going slow enough. They don't They don't want to overreact here. They don't want to go too fast. They're going to have to wait wait out on uh, Liquid. And here goes Liquid trying to explode in 30 seconds. It's going to be up the dab. Can he line oh, a shot no. up? Tried to do it. But there's his teammate Rush. He doesn't look over his shoulder. Hiko goes down right below. A uh, Dren will be Nafly, so now we're gonna have a one-on-one -on -one again, but time ticking so very low. A Dren doesn't have a choice. He's gonna go for the bomb plant. Shazam's gonna run his way up just a little bit, make some noise. He's gonna peek around the corner. A Dren sees him for a second, and now Shazam knows. He's got the op out. Can he make this happen? He's looking. Yeah. He can't quite do it. A Dren will hit the headshot, keeps his team in here. Wow. And that is a tenth round now and a 4K, nonetheless, for a Dren. Or excuse me, a ninth round in a 4K for a Dren. Huge play by Adren. I thought that was going to go the other way around. I mean, Adren was so, so low at that point. And, and one, one key factor was the timing on Liquid coming out of yeah. drop down. You saw Daps. He was actually holding a really good angle, good position. And at, at, at one point, he just chose to go ahead and back up, change his position. And right when he started to move, that's when he got pushed. His, his crosshair was off. His motion was off. And then that was it. That's your entry. That's how they get into the site. And that's how Liquid stays in this game. Most definitely. They need to continue to do that. They need to string together some rounds uh, in a row here. Uh, considering Conquest back onto a pistol, and they did it on a pistol before. Let's see if they can do it again on a pistol against uh, Liquid. Get themselves that round. Get that momentum back on their side and try and end this thing. Because uh, Conquest would love to be the guys that upset Liquid and knock them out of this land finals. Yeah, it's going to be an uphill struggle on this round for Conquest. That's finally got CZ75 just going for cheeky kills, trying to get something uh, done. Nap is already out of the picture. Daps pushing up close by B Platt, trying to be cheeky there. Nitro comes around the corner. Daf shows himself, unloads. There's the kill. He goes out. He's a high impact player, so that's actually a very valuable kill. Uh, however, Fugly and Adran able to just get the work done already. Shazam all alone. He's worked his way back into the bomb site. Uh, Leech is going to find him out, and they even get the bomb plant to boot. 10 13, Liquid closing that gap. Yeah, I mean, they brought it within three now. Uh, it was getting a little out of control there, but again, good job playing from the T side. Conquest just needs to slow this thing down a little bit. Uh, Liquid's just, when they hit something, they end up hitting the angles that they need. They pop out of that angle, and then they lock onto it and just wait for somebody to re peek them. And it's working every time yeah. you, you get uh, you get uh, Nitro coming out, uh, the Halls coming out onto the balcony, and he just pops out on the other side of Headshot, and we'll just sit there and watch. And right, then boom, right. you, you get the re peek, you run right into him. They just need the conquest just needs to settle down a little bit here and not re-peak those angles too many times because you know the liquid players are just sitting on them. 
I'm concerned about Conquest at this point. Yeah, they're buying up. You have to buy up at this point, but it's very light. They've already used up almost all of their utilities. Sam's Law is only holding on to Ape and Moss. Liquid chooses to go out long. Shazam spots Nitro and takes the kill. Also has some more information as Sam's Law is playing. Oh, he's going to wide peek this corner. And does he get the shot? Gets the wow. shot, but he's not going to take the kill. Liege and Adren both extremely low on health as they slowly creep their way onto the bomb wow. site. Oh, look at Stan, though. Stan, great positioning here. He's going to try and grab the player. All three alive Team Liquid members are... They're very low on HP. I mean, he go down to 31. Alige at 17. Adren at 24. They are so very close to getting killed here. And uh, here comes the retake attempt coming out. It's going to be a four-man retake attempt. Alige hits some good damage. Yep. There's Rush. Now we're going to be worked into a one-on-two. Shazam, he's far he's got to be able to get this done. Looking at Hiko. Adren misses the shot somehow. Tries to re-peek. And Hiko will take him down. That's an 11th round now for Team Liquid. This cannot be happening for Conquest. I mean, they buy up full. They had a very, very solid round right there. Shazam opens it up with that initial pick, and they're able to hold these players off. But then they give up the site too quickly, and they're, not, they, they're cut down so, so fast. Shazam's the, the only one left standing. And Liquid, th this much closer to closing the gap, yeah. tying it up. There, there's not a lot left for Conquest to play with. And I, I don't know what their economy is looking like right now, uh, but it should be low. I expect we're going to go back into another save. Oh, here we go. Um, Conquest. Yeah, quite low. Yeah, they don't. They don't really have enough cash to really, really make anything happen. They could here. enforce if they wanted to. Yeah, I, I mean, you could. You could SMG force, but it, it's just there's no point. It would be such a broken buy that it it would literally do nothing yeah. for you. Or pistol armor, but at the same time, it's just no reason to force that like that. I mean, you still have two rounds in your favor. You still have that advantage. You just need to get a good, clean round under your belt from CT side right. to really turn this thing around. Now, that was a tactical timeout. Uh, I, I would just assume that that was called by Conquest after losing so many rounds, including that critical gun round. It's time to stop, have a discussion, and maybe rethink your CT side because it's falling apart. I mean, they're... It's not just one site that, that's consistently falling. They're losing A executes, and they're losing B executes. So now into round 25. And again, see, we got Nitro. He's out wide. He's just sitting on that angle. Wow. But there's going to be a stack over there at that B bomb site, and it paid off. It gets them one frag. They can go collect that rifle if they want it, but they're going to have to rotate all the way over from B to the A bomb site because that's where Liquid's hitting. Yeah. The five-man stack is real. That was really critical uh, spamming through smoke. I don't know if they maybe saw a little shadow, a little piece of a foot or, or, or whatnot, but uh, the USP bullets were very real coming through the smoke. And Nap picking up the kill. And Nap picks up the AK-47, so that's a light victory. Uh, he might just back off and save it as the rest of the team comes in attempting a retake to do whatever whatever damage you can do to Liquid. Just pick at them, do some. Yeah. do some damage there's nothing nothing substantial worth saving no, no, what, no. you got a p250 on rush that's nothing no i i mean there, there, it wouldn't hurt to sit try and get some exits and that's what exactly what they're going to be doing they're going to try and get some exits they're going to put themselves in a situation where if uh liquid's not checking all their corners when they're trying exiting out of this site out of the blast radius they're going to get caught and maybe drop some rifles to the or into the hands of conquest players and uh they see one they know somebody's there but now they have three players there watching that and yeah, they pick up both. So Rush and Shazam can't quite collect a frag there. Naflite will save the AK, and Daps does survive. This is getting extremely close. Liquid is one round away from tying this up and coming back from that huge early first half deficit. 13 12, Conquest obviously going to buy up this time. The op's going to be in Shazam's hands. Well, you know, the thing about Shazam this game is he's been finding the kills and getting a lot of these uh, early picks. But then his team falls apart before him, yeah. and then Shazam's put into this clutch position. It's going to be Rush. Opens things up. More frags will go in favor of Conquest. That's going to be Daps right there. After Elise was able to get one onto Rush, trains him out, and then he was quickly traded himself. So we are going to have a four-on-three but drop is completely open. They have to be aware of it. All right, we still have three stacked inside the B site, uh, along with one A anchor. 
It will be a BX skew. 57 seconds left on the clock. That's huge. Shazam finds a Dren with the off, keeping the off at B site this time around. Fugly slow peaks around the edge, and he's dead. He goes all alone. Clutch, clutch King, one versus four. He goes the one with the bomb, and uh, his position's been given away. He's just trading shots uh, with Blair over at Statue that is uh, heavily, heavily injured. Uh, I believe it's Shazam hanging back there. Yeah, down to just one, one health. HP. Yeah. yeah, nothing but a flashbang in Hiko's hands. He's going to use that utility, try and blind out anybody. He is mostly ineffective, and he's just trying to take some position. 23 seconds. He's going to go for it. Not going to happen. Nope. Taken down, Hiko. Yeah, Hiko did everything that he could do right there at the end to try and get that, but I, I mean... One versus X situation, yeah. you, you, they know exactly where you are. You don't have anywhere you can really rotate. You don't have an escape route. You're just kind of stuck. You got to make what you can, you can make whatever happen you can. And uh, he tried to go for it, but that is Conquest with a 14th round now. And that's pretty huge. You know, Hiko was, and his whole team, completely rich. It doesn't matter to lose. And they know that Conquest was going to buy all pools. So it doesn't even matter to go ahead and drop that AK-47. This time around, Liquid again, biasing uh, the B side early on. I don't see any sort of real default play by Liquid where they, they they fan out, put maybe one or two people watching A side. They commit pretty heavily to B, and then if it doesn't work out, that's when they decide to back off and try something at the A site. You're going to have a three and two stat going on for Conquest defensively. Liquid not committing just yet, but uh, you're going to see Fugly popping through drop down fast. So now into round 27. Conquest only one round away from uh, being able to mop this thing up or at least put themselves in a situation where they're looking at match point here on map number two. And uh, Team Liquid gonna try and execute their way out into this B bomb side. And Napfly was gonna be there. Daps gets himself one. He's already became uh, oh. uh, become very, very important in this. And it's all, all up to Hiko. He's gonna be one versus what? four. Gets himself two frags. Daps and Rush were very low. Conquest will grab that 15th round. And they are now on match point. They could be sending Team Liquid home and out of these land finals. Oh, yes. This fast. Most importantly, Liquid is extremely low. Check this out. Nitro starting this round out with three thousand one hundred dollars. We've got thirty six hundred on, on on Fugly. You're gonna have a really ugly looking buy. Uh, yeah, we have apparently some sort of a problem. Uh, Fugly's mouse is not working. Uh, so we are gonna have a pause. Looks like the admin sorted this out very quickly, and the the, the clock is gonna gonna go ahead and count down. Looking at this broken buy. Yeah, very little utility coming out on the part of Team Liquid. Uh, Fugly's not going to have a helmet on his head. That could be a problem facing off against an M4. One shot headshot yeah, for the uh, M4 yeah, that, that's in this rough. case. But, I mean, they have to buy out. They have to win every single round from here on out. This is only, it is round 28. And if they can hold on, and it looks like they just want to kind of load the box up there at the at B and see if they can get anything with Hiko going to be on the lurk. And I really don't think Conquest is going to force anybody too hard at that AA bomb site to just go try and loop around. Yeah, if Conquest can do this, they advance sending Liquid home. Conquest would, on an upset, go forward into the playoffs here at MLG yeah. Arena. $100,000 online, $40,000 to the winner, and uh, Conquest, they're not going to take any chances playing it super slow. Stanislaw Law looks like he's going to be playing off angle at doors, solo A. They rotate one player back because nothing has happened yet at the B site, Liquid completely fanned out. They haven't committed to anything. Yeah, Liquid just trying to do whatever they can to keep themselves in this round. They, they just cannot drop this, and it's gotta, be, it's gotta be a good, clean round from them. And they know it, they're, they're well aware, and uh, hopefully that little bit of a pause helped them. They could talk it over a little bit, decide what they needed to do to uh, not drop this. And uh, we already have a trade, a liege is gonna take down uh, Stan is a lot. Rush oh, is going to trade out. Elise, yeah, and they're going to be over towards the B bomb site with the bomb. Nafly misses his shot. Fugly takes down Naf, and we're going to have Shazam. And man, ladies, Liquid is looking good so far. Only two CTs left to beat. Yeah, it's all a fake. They had a couple of players sitting outside of A, and they do get the 1v1 trade that you called. And just like that, Conquest rotates right out of B. Two players casually walk into the site and plant the bomb and just like that it, it, it the positions the post plant positions are entirely too strong liquids able to come back from that conquest 
giving up another round. It's 15-13. Good news for Conquest is they have secured the tie. They could lose all these rounds and still put us into overtime. We saw how good they did in double overtime going up against Virtus Pro in uh, last night's matchup. Conquest, out of money. They're going to save this round. Going to be interesting here as we're into round 29. Uh, Conquest, again, still match point. They win this round. Oh, a leash. What a shot there to take down Dap. That's how you open that thing up. He's looking to try to find another one on anybody crossing, but nobody will be crossing, so he's going to have to hang back, and uh, it will be very, very fast. A five on three in favor of Team Liquid, who uh, they can win this one and the next one. We're going to overtime on map number two. Indeed, Nap. Still alive, but look at that Shazam. Third person over shoulder. Look behind your shoulder, Shazam. Adren's behind you. Gets taken oh, down. Naf's all alone. Yep, Naf life. Last one standing. The only one alive here for Conquest. We're going to go into the final round of regulation to figure out who's, uh, who's going to win this thing or uh, if we're going into overtime to find out if, uh, if Liquid goes home or if they're going to go to a third bound. Oh man, a Dren hit that shot. That was that was dirty. Removes Nafly, and uh, now Team Liquid wins the round, final round of regulation, to find out if we're going to overtime or if Conquest is going to send Team Liquid packing on day two. This is nuts. Absolutely nuts. What are we on a timeout here? No. No. Freeze time. AK47 is coming out for Team Liquid and uh, Conquest. Their finances were. Pretty low. They're able to get an off in uh, Shazam's hand. Not as much utility as you might want on CT side, which does give Liquid some uh, options. They're not even going to worry about it, though. Liquid rushing out super fast. And speaking of rush, there he is taking Nitro down. And the rest of the team stalled out. That's kind of strange. Nobody's in a position to go ahead and trade out and uh, get out of the site. So man advantage going in favor of Conquest. They need to keep calm. They've got to stay calm and keep this thing under control. They've got the advantage. Let's keep it that way. Yeah, they, they're up a player here. Napoli did take quite a bit of damage. I mean, he's under 32, and uh, they just have to be careful at this drop. Daft right there. He's ready. First player is going to drop. That's going to be Fugly. He's right there with Famas. Tries to hit the shot. Aim punch. He's got to drop back. He'll get out. He escapes with his life, but damage already done. They have control of the drop now. They just have to be very careful here trying to get out of this drop. Well, the good news is once you have a player who, who's absolutely come down through drop, you have him isolated. You know that there's no way that this guy can back off and retreat. But now that Elise has dropped down, there's the possibility of counter boosting. He heard the drop happen. So now they, they're, they're counting. They say, okay, we got two in drop. And where are the other ones? Uh, you see one player pushing out for Conquest, CT, realizing no one's at A. They've got to be in main. This flank is going to come up absolutely huge. b site goes down super fast. Stanislaw is not fast enough on the flank. Just misses them at B-plant. But nobody, I don't think anybody's necessarily going to expect them. The corner is watched. Adren taken down. Stanislaw now in a one versus three. Bomb is going to be planted. This. Yeah, he's got to clutch this 1v3. It's going to be tough to make this happen. I'm, we're going to overtime, almost guaranteed, unless he can make just absolute magic. He doesn't even have a kit. So, yeah, taking some time. Gets the first shot. Yeah, he's running out of time here. What? Gets the what? second one. He's going to force himself into so... a one-on-one, -on -one, but Hiko will get the clutch. And uh, that would have been very, very close if he was actually able to take so down close. Hiko right there. Uh, uh, that would have been very tight for him to try and get that defuse. The yeah. window for that to work was so small. It might have been it might have been too late at that point, even if he got that third kill, but what a play by Stano's Law. I was watching it on the minimap the entire time. He's doing this whole flank sort of situation. And because of his flank, it, it, Conquest had so much information. They understand yeah. it's not a, we know there's two in drop, we know we killed one, therefore two are on B plat. You know this information. And unfortunately the A site just, or I'm sorry, the B site just fell apart instantaneously. If yeah. you even had one player holding a fight, just keeping them repelled at that point, Stanislaw could have come up really big on the flank. And another thing, they didn't have the money to buy all the utility that they needed. So if you just had one smoke, an HE grenade, a flash grenade, anything to buy another second, that would yeah. allow Stanislaw a huge opportunity to come up behind. Not meant to be. We're going to overtime, folks. Oh yeah, so we're gonna have overtime coming here very, very soon on Cobble. And uh, I don't know how far out we are with the players, but I believe what we're going to end up doing here, guys, 
is we're going to take a, a fast little break while we wait for all the players to get ready. And we're going to start this overtime as soon as these guys are good to go. So bear with us and we'll be back once all the players are ready. Everybody, we are back here at your MLG SIVO Season 8 
Land Finals, day number two, Team Liquid versus Conquest. And we are in overtime on map number two. This is an elimination game right here. If Conquest can win this overtime, that's it. Liquid eliminated, and they're out of it. That's right. You see, uh, overtime number one, the team start out with uh, $10,000 worth of cash uh, per player. And then you buy up. It's going to be two halves of three. So basically every round is a gun round. That's how this is going to work out. Stannis all playing super close, super tight. Able to get one before Elise trades him out, taking the kill. So it's one for one. No man advantage just yet as players start rotating off of A. They're only playing one at a site, which means the site is wide open. Rotation is super fast and hard. Elise, does he get caught off guard? Spots the footprints. He knows somebody's going to be coming in from uh, oh, Bugly. top. Yeah, oh, there he is. Bugly. Blank. Yeah, catches Nap like good job there to make that flank happen. Now Shazam's got to honor that. He's got to look back. Doesn't really know. Daps is going to be on some super deep flank right now up through mid. Rush doesn't oh. get locked on in time. There goes Shazam and Daps. Lone Ranger now, 1v3. Hits the shot, drops the bomb down. Now he's waiting to find out where the other terrorist is. And uh, he's got a chance to make a good play on this, make this one versus two happen. Use that molly so he doesn't have to worry about the door. No players over there, so it is going to be ineffective. See, this slows down the play. Fugly and Hiko, they, they can't feel quite comfortable just yet. Fugly's going to go plant in safety. And you saw Hiko trying to block from Balcony. They're not quite sure where Daps has gone just yet. In fact, instead, he's going to keep coming up from the exact same angle, works his way in towards vents, checking if anybody's over there. He has to make a decision now. Do I look left or do I look right? He looks left. That's the wrong way. A couple of shots there initially missed, but Fugly's able to pick up the spare, and Daps goes down. First point in OT goes to Liquid. Yeah, Liquid, good job there. Right, you got to have that one round. So remember, guys, what we're looking for here in overtime number one, first team to be able to get four rounds in total between the two sides, because it's three rounds per side that you're going to be playing. Uh, the first team with four rounds in total in overtime and will win it. So... Uh, you got to get to 19 if you want to win here in overtime number one. You get to 18, that means the other team is more than likely going to get to 18 also. You guys tied it up, and now we're going to another one. See Shazam with the counter boost. He's not going to commit all the way over towards it. Instead, he's just taking the off and peeking out around the corner. Misses the shot, and Lee takes his head off just like that. The flick uh, aim, the twitch aim going on from Elige. Phenomenal. Now, man advantage in favor of Liquid. Conquest has to stay calm, but B site falling apart just like that. Stanislaw rushed, the only people left standing. Rush is all alone. Stanislaw on the rotate. This is ugly. Yeah, this is not looking good. There goes Rush. Stanislaw, last one. Elise will pick up both of those from the drop. And that's Liquid staying alive. That's going to be two rounds now. If they could pick up all three of the T-Sider grounds, that, that, that is going to be gigantic. Looks like they will look at the money uh, yeah conquest uh, is broke this you don't see this very often in an overtime right like overtime every i, I said it earlier every round's going to be a gun round well yes unless you spend a lot of money and then everybody dies for the next two rounds yeah and that's exactly what happened conquest broke essentially essentially this is an eco round in a situation where you just can't have eco rounds Hiko going to go ahead and wall bang and take Stannis Law down. Rush is playing super close with the shotgun. That's the best weapon that we have on site. And there it is. Takes the shot. Too bad there's not another round because that's money. And Napli trying to work the pistol. Just got to wrangle nice, it. Finally nice. gets the headshot. Now we're going to be two on three. Elise down low HP wise. Rush has an AK. And let's see the bomb down out in the open. They're trying to watch their flank. They know somebody should be coming from that direction. But they do want to take down a leash because they have somebody on their team has to be screaming right now that he's unbelievably low. Napfly takes down a Dren. So now just a leash up there. Low on HP, but here comes Hiko what rotates are you doing? over. And Hiko's gonna get it. That is gonna be all three rounds from overtime number one. Go in favor of Team Liquid. And they are setting themselves up well here. All they need is one round from T side. How does that CT. happen? Hiko walks out. That wasn't that wasn't a scream, tappy tappy headshot. That was just yeah. I'm just gonna spray down, and every bullet's gonna find a head. That's because I'm Hiko. That's how I roll. And uh, wow, three rounds in OT going in favor of Liquid. This is this is all but over. If Liquid take this, yeah. if Liquid can take this, that forces us into our randomly selected map number three of Overpass.
We'll talk about that later, should that happen. And it's a knife for sides on overpass. It is. It so is. So it's, it's going to be interesting to find out who's going to actually get their side choice on it. And if we actually go to a mount three, that uh, that'll be that'll be very intense. If it goes to overpass, though, conquest is in deep, deep trouble. They're really not good at overpass uh, at all. Uh, Liquid, they don't pick it a lot. They don't they don't win a lot on it, but they're well practiced on it. Yeah. You know, I th I think that the advantage definitely is going to go in favor of Liquid if we do go in to overpass. Conquest should know this if they've done their research, so the pressure is really on. 19 points is the magic number, misled. Yeah, that's that's what you got to get to here if you want to uh, you want to win this. But I mean, if Conquest went out here, we're going to overtime number two. Same rules, same thing. First team to get four rounds between the two halves, we'll, we'll win it. Yep. And so uh, Conquest, though, looking like they had this map in the back, couldn't bring it home. Now we're in overtime, and they're in a tough spot here because they have to win all of these rounds, all three of these from T-side to be able to have another chance at overtime. And they're setting up for B site. No surprises. It's a four stack for Team Liquid, which is the way everybody seems to be playing B site these days. You stack four there and then maybe have somebody as a rotator position. The rotator's falling back because there's really no noise. Conquest hasn't made much of a fuss on the B site. Now, here you go. Mollying the left side just to make sure nobody's there. Walk through the smoke as it flashes out. Rush peeks out, spots one, sprays, misses both, and he's going to go down quickly. Naf and Rush both down. Three versus four situation. They're able to do a lot of damage to Liquid, though, uh, leading us down to a 3v2. Bomb does get planted. Daps takes some uh, fire before he backs off. Now he tries juking on the right. Nobody sees him. Elige goes down. Suddenly, Hiko left all alone. If Hiko can clutch this 1v2, Liquid advance taps the bomb look at the flank coming up from Shazam he just peeks around the back side shooting Hiko in the back conquest is still in this thing this led yeah I mean they're still in it they're, they're not out of it yet they have a uh, two more rounds to go and they get forces to overtime number two and again same Which exact they did earlier set. yeah I, I mean yeah uh, same exact rule set would be going forward, and then again, first team to win four rounds between the two halves will get the map win. And this is this is pretty pretty big right here for Conquest uh, and Liquid. I mean, if Liquid can stand up to this and uh, really show some resolve when they're being tested, that's going to help out a lot. Stana's Law set on fire, runs through, tries to, s to smoke the fire out, but he gets blinded in his own smoke, and he, he ends up going down. So that, that's very unfortunate. Stana's Law is seriously capable of carrying Conquest. I know he hasn't represented too much on this map, but uh, he is such a critical component for this team. And now the A push. Look at the way they're getting completely pinched off at this point. Three players at balcony. Bow, uh, uh, one, two, three, all shut down. So now we have a two versus two. It's Nitro and Liege versus Shazam and daps at the A site. Nice off shot. Shazam taking one, putting us into a 1v1. Clutch time for Shazam. Shazam has to win this or else he's going home. Looks the wrong way and miraculously wow. gets the shot on Elige. Somehow Shazam makes it happen. They're one round away from being able to go to overtime number two and fight for the W still here on map number two. It would be impressive if they can do it. This is it's coming down to the final round of this thing. It's for all the marbles if Conquest wants to get this. My, how the tables have turned. Look at the buy for Liquid. Suddenly they're in a situation where all they can afford are pistols and they've got two shotties sitting there. The old swag seven in full effect. Hiko's going to go charging up uh, long to find information. Boy, does he find it. Shazam takes the shot, wiping Hiko off the board. The Clutch King is now out of the picture. And you have a fully bought Conquest team with the man advantage. Yeah, just trying to hold on here, trying to work that bomb. They haven't really gone too far with it. Hanging out above the drop. Players still in the tunnels. Just kind of working around, trying to see if they're going to catch any of these uh, liquid players. Trying to rotate, getting a little too aggressive, knowing that they're uh, they're in trouble now. And Elige is going to be the one. Elige gets a little out too wide. Somehow doesn't go down, though, but uh, all the way down to 18 HP. 
Very slow play going on by Conquest. They want to make sure they pick the right site, make a lot of noise at B, including at drop down before they start peeking around. What's this? Looks like there's one player already on the A site. Yeah, he's already worked his way up and uh, just sitting back below uh, the balcony there. But that, yeah, good frag comes out, taps, is able to take down a trend. There goes Fugly. So now all we have left alive here is Fugly, or excuse me, Fugly, Nitro, and Elyse. And man, Elyse still very weak on HP. That's going to be Fugly taking a pistol shot on the taps. Makes it happen. Now they're going to be pushing inside the site. They're going to take down oh. Elyse, but Stanislaw and Rush are both right there. Oh, so and close. Rush will cut it down. We are going to overtime number two, Team Liquid versus Conquest. Unreal. This is the second time in a row that Conquest has forced us into two OTs. They did it not, not just against any old team, mind you. Last night, they forced us into double OT against Virtus Pro, the plow themselves, right? This is one of the best teams in the world who did have a disappointing showing yeah. at the Major with that G2 loss. Okay, that happened. That's fine. Conquest took them double overtime before they finally ended up losing the match. Now Liquid in the same boat. These two players are, or these two teams are playing their hearts out. I don't know. This is so tough to call. So tough to call. Yeah. Uh... Uh, it, it was really good that they were able to battle back. They they didn't drop that. They're like, all right, well, we lost we lost all three of the first rounds of overtime. All right, let's just yep. give up. Let's go to map three and worry about it there. They didn't give up. They, no. they didn't let it get to their heads, and Conquest kept going. And, I mean, they won all three of theirs that they needed to. So, yeah. hey, they, they put them into another overtime. Yeah, Conquest, certainly a solid team. They've been, they've been on the rise, really. Yeah. I mean, they, they've had an incredible season, sure. But then after our season ended, they've done some pretty impressive things uh, elsewhere. For example, the iBet Power Series, taking a map off of Luminosity Gaming. That's going to boost their confidence. Uh, they're the team that knocked Coast out of the IB, uh, iBet Power Fall Invite 2-0. This is a time when Coast was, was looking like they might have a little bit of hope uh, going forward. It's a team that generally performs poorly in pistol rounds, but good news. I mean, it, it, we're in overtime. They don't have to worry about any, anything like uh, pistol round performance or anything of the sort. You see the yeah, buys coming uh, yeah, out. Yeah, you get money right off the bat. Yeah, so. exactly. So that threat has been eliminated for Conquest. They're going to start off T side. Two ops, one for Adren, and then one on the opposite side for Shazam. Be bias early on. We're going to have Conquest here. Still going to be your T-sided team. Let's see if they can make some magic happen again. Can they get all three of these T-sided rounds? It's just going to come down to who's actually able to get more than one CT-sided round. What? And look at the lineup. Fugly's got four. Trying to go for the ace. That final player not going to be over there, though, for him to grab. That is going to be Shazam. Shazam hits the op shot. Shazam hits a pistol shot right after that. But he is going to be one versus three. And he does have full HP. He almost just made that one versus two. What the heck was that, Fugly? It's a 4K. He just needs one more for the ace. Misses the opportunity. Shazam out ops him. And uh, that's ace denied for Fugly. I can't believe that spray down this lad. I mean, you're sitting there. He lined it up absolutely perfectly and just sprayed bullets right through four bodies, making it look like something easy. Shazam, pressure's on. <laughs> Look at this trap. He's able to pick up the bomb. Backing off 27 seconds. He has to commit to B-side. Yeah, he did. Man, this is a tough spot to be in here. Time, ticky low. Going to grab the bomb. They're just going to try and wait it out. They're going to try and take him. Uh, he's going to do the sound fake first. Fires off an off shot. Now he's going to go to safety. Gonna put the bomb down. Now they know for a fact. He hits the first shot. He could be able to get this. He's got himself 4K. Does he get nice. the ace? He got the ace clutch. Shazam is done him. it. Look at him. Ace clutch for Shazam. What a beautiful play comes out. Denies the ace nice. on the other side for Fugly and gets one himself. Shazam is the man. You saw that celebration right there. If you're unfamiliar, Shazam is the one in the glasses right there, closest to the camera, thrilled as he should be. It's an ace in double overtime against Liquid, one of the greatest powerhouses in North America at present, perhaps the best North American team right now in Conquest, certainly there to challenge them.
Yeah, Conquest, uh, that was huge. That's a big fire that just got lit underneath those guys' butts. Hopefully they can keep that going. Ride that momentum, and it looks like they're going to nap, fly, and rush. Both get themselves rags as Conquest will be up. They have a good man advantage here. Man, Rush gets so lit and doesn't die. Beautiful. Hiko and Adran both off-site with an M4 and an AWP. Look at this, Conquest Rush. He's so low on health, but there's no point in hanging on to the AK-47. He can always rebuy going into round number three off of those two uh, victories as well as the bomb plants. Conquest in a really solid position now. Look at Hiko watching this angle. He might have just seen the corner of a gun. Oh, there he is, turns left, and uh, Hiko with that crazy, crazy flick game takes uh, takes him down. Fun thing, funny thing about Hiko, uh, He's a pro Counter-Strike player, certainly one of the best out there. He's actually colorblind. He has to play with the digital vibrance turned all the way up. And uh, there's certain spots of the map where, where he actually has trouble. And he has to play around those. So we're into the final round of the first half of overtime number two now. Yeah. Uh, Conquest has got both rounds so far. If they can make it three, that's about par for the course. Both teams playing better from T side than they are from CT side. So again, a man, a dread all the way down to 7 HP right off the bat. Didn't get to see what happened there, but I'm assuming it had something to do with Shazam. Decent buy. Coming together uh, for Liquid, better than they did last time around with a lot of aggression from Nitro. We haven't seen him playing this position on top of B plat super aggressively in a while, and uh, maybe maybe Conquest has been lulled into a false sense of security about this. He's gonna play close with the Mag-7. It's, uh, if, you, if you play it right, it's just a one-shot, one-kill situation all the time. Shazam hopping from drop. Not able to get the shot, and here comes the entry, working around the angle, and Nitro, one and two with the shotgun before he gets traded out, and suddenly in Conquest, with a huge disadvantage, Daps is hurt. Shazam out, uh, dropping mollies. This doesn't really benefit anybody at this point. Look how hurt Elysian and Dren are. Yeah, Elysian all the way down to one HP, a Dren down to seven still from the beginning of the round, but Daps is lit right here. This Molotov could be gigantic. Oh. He's not able to get away, but Shazam, can he get another clutch off? He's got to be able to get this. Can he hit the shot? Oh. Misses it just barely. Hiko's trying to get in his face. Shazam versus Hiko misses the shot. Now, still up. He goes right there. Gets on the bomb for a second. Shazam's just got to play against them. Goes at the shoulder peak. He knows he doesn't have to commit to it. Now he shoulder peeks out again. Can oh he my keep God. going? Oh Shazam my God. will get the clutch again to get two rounds for his team <laughs> oh, in Shazam. overtime. Shazam has to clutch it. This is some of the best play that we have seen out of Shazam at all uh, since his time at Tempo Storm, since his time at Conquest. The, the, the guy is playing absolutely out of his mind. He's turning into the clutch king in OT. And you know how tired they are. Like, I, oh, yeah. I, I know you're tired. I'm tired. This has been an incredibly long series. Think about what it's like for these guys. They oh, are yeah. they're playing at the absolute height of the the game. Well, you used to play professionally yourself, Miss Led. Some old, old stuff, man. You are focused, and it is mentally taxing to do that stuff. And yet Shazam is still able to do it. A lot of a lot of people don't understand the pressure. It's it's hard to understand it. You yeah. I mean, it's a, I don't know, it's totally different when you're sitting there and you're playing like even just like little stuff, playing an open match and you don't want to lose that match oh, with yeah. all your buddies. The first time you ever played Counter Strike, like, the, just that pressure is oh, insane. Yeah. Like, and you're at home and you're comfortable, let, let alone being here. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. With lots of people watching. With lots of people watching. Yes. Watching your open match. Watching your open match, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but we are into uh, the second half of overtime number two now. This and, is crazy. Uh, just waiting. All Conquest needs is one round, and they take this thing home. If Team Liquid ends up winning this, or if Team Liquid wins all three, that means we're going to overtime number three. Conquest only needs one. I think, I think Conquest might just have it this time. Look at Nap. He's in a great position. It is going to be a B hit if he's patient. And Rexum. Oh there you go. Bomb is down. That's already two kills. And uh, Liquid. 
They might just be spinning at this point. But Buck Bugley. Bugley will come in from no, behind. It's a one-for-one one trade. So it leaves us with Hiko and Adran all alone. Now Adran for the clutch. And that's it. Conquest is going to knock Liquid out. That's, that's it. it. Wow. Conquest brings it home. Overtime number two. This time, instead of dropping that overtime, they end up winning it. Nice. And, uh, man, Conquest. What a good day for those guys. Liquid is out of it. Day two. No longer here at the uh, at the Sevo Land Finals. They're done. They the, are. The time here is over. They're done. Liquid goes home. Conquest advances now into the playoffs at MLG. And uh, wow, they're going to be main stage from this point on. Oh, yeah. It is an uphill struggle. They, it's been an uphill struggle throughout the entire series, right? Virtus Pro and. Um, the first pro game this liquid game right here actually they, they they're not advancing just yet they have one more best yeah. of three they're going to have to play to get out of the group stage but yeah. liquid has to go home at this point yeah i, I can't believe it conquest like I, I wanted to believe in them the whole time and say hey you know you you're doing good you're you're the dark horse team you're yeah. the underdogs here i love seeing underdogs succeed and that was it and i have to tell you shazam yeah came on fire late in the game. Oh yeah, he played he played out of his mind. I mean, he ended up with 33 frags. Yeah. Which is his name. I mean, Nafly was playing awesome, 37 rush with 36. And on the other side, I, I mean, Team Liquid, it wasn't like they were just they were bad. It's just you happen to have conquest players yeah. blow up round after round. Like w one round it's Shazam, next round it's Nafly, next round it might be um uh, excuse me. Yeah, it, it might be Rush. You, you you never know. They were just blowing up randomly, and, and it ended up it ended up working out for them. Yeah. Uh, this this was Cobble. This was the map picked by Liquid themselves. Yeah. It, I, I thought it was an odd pick though, because yeah, okay, Liquid's good on Cobble, but so is Conquest. They they play a whole lot. I think you yeah. said it was their second most played map uh, w within Sevo. Yeah. Season eight this time around. So it it kind of benefited Conquest when you're doing your vetoes and your picks. I understand wanting to play for your strengths, but y you've got to kind of understand where your, where your opponents are coming from. Yeah. Clearly, Liquid felt very confident on it. They played their hearts out. They did an amazing job bringing it all the way to OT. Number two, 1822. You've got to be proud of that, but, you know, it's Liquid. They are a prestige North American team. They've had oh, yeah. good showings, even making it all the way to the major. The first major uh, going out in the group stage like that. You'd expect them to take conquest, yeah. with ease, and uh, didn't well, happen. Well, after after Amazing. what we saw last night with conquest, how they played yeah. against Virtus Pro, like that gave me more hope. That like when I when yeah. I saw the matchup this morning, I was like, well, all right, that, there you go. We might have a really good We've game. We got here a game on our hands between these two, if conquest can play like they did against right. Virtus Pro, and they actually played better against Liquid than they did against Versus Pro. I and think they, they played did. great against Versus Pro. Yeah, I think they did. They played solid, solid Counter-Strike, and uh, that's what it's all about. Yeah, you know, it's, it, it's one thing to sit at your home online playing all your, your league matches and Sevo and all that, but then you're right here. The pressure's on, and yep. particularly on the B stream, you've got it, – it, it's a very different type of um, – it's a very different type of environment than the yeah. main stage, where you're kind of off set from the audience. Here, it feels more like a LAN. You've got people yeah. kind of crowded around watching you, directly cheering you. Oh, That's yeah. always in your peripheral vision. So you feel very pressured, and uh, yet Conquest still able to do it. They don't have yeah. a lot of LAN experience as a unit either. No, I don't know. I, I mean, the players themselves have a lot of experience yeah. at LANs. Just that unit does not. I mean... Temple Storm had some of their guys, or some of the members that were Temple Storm had yeah. land together. And then right. the Elevate guys had land together, yeah. too. But, like, as a unit. And Shazam with the Cloud9 yeah. stuff before, of yeah. course. I mean, they all they all had land with at least one of their teammates right. in the last month or so. Or, well, not month. It would have been three and a half three, months. Three, four three months. or four, yeah. Yeah, so they all have experience with each other and playing against each other. Yeah. Just not that roster, this five, going at it like they did today. And right. they, play, they played out of their minds. They, they did amazing. great. They get it's to amazing. move forward. That's good stuff. It's it's hopeful for yes. North America yeah. too. You know, not to be a homer, but you know, it's it's it is nice to see yeah. some of the home teams really represent, especially when our scene's been in, in shambles with so many player swaps, yeah. players trades, and just underperforming things going on. So I think that about does it for us at this so. point. The the B stream is officially over. We, yeah. We've eliminated a few teams. So from this point on, 
all of the matches at the MLG Arena are going to be on the primary stream. Just go to MLG.TV and uh, tune in. There's plenty more matches going on today uh, as well as tomorrow, which we'll see the semifinals and then yeah. the grand finals. So lots of great Counter-Strike yet to be played, Luga. Oh, definitely. So that's going to get us out of here, guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Go over to the mainstream now and watch that. You guys know you are not going to want to miss what we have coming up next. So, uh, again, misled. Sabo, we're out of here, guys. See ya.